What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus on Steven Samko's 25th birthday. Happy birthday, Stammer. Um, you know, 25, he's done a lot of things. We're going to talk about what he's done in the NHL in his career, as well as, um, you know, what, it mean, what his future holds. Obviously, he's having the best team year of his career. Um, Tampa looks like a legitimate Stanley Cup contender. They're doing some great things down there. You know, he's been a um, kind of, a, I don't want to say a bit player, but he's not leading the team in scoring, which almost never happens. Um, you know, he's got 28 goals. He's in the top four or five in the league in, in goal scoring. Um, and, you know, he's playing some great hockey, but the team is playing great with, um, you know, other guys playing, you know, more prominent roles. I mean, you look at what Tyler Johnson and Nikita Kucherov, uh, Andre Polak, guys like that have done. And I think this is great for the Lightning because when the playoffs roll around, depth becomes more important than ever. And, um, you know, if these guys are coming up bases, you know, you don't have to worry about Stan Coe scoring. He's still got 28 goals on the season, um, you know, and he's really shown some, some great um, all-around game. But, you know, I think it's good for the team and good for him that he's not necessarily having to light the lamp every game and, you know, put up huge numbers for the team to do well. Um, and, you know, you'd be, if you're trying to discredit what he's doing, I think you're foolish. I mean... Watch this guy play every night, and you see how he's one of the smartest goal scorers in the league. Obviously, he's probably the best pure goal scorer in the league. But watch, I loved when I was in Tampa for four years, watching his progressions as a player. You know, his first few years, he was money on the um, left wing side. That's where he always went, especially in the power play. But that fourth year in the league, he learned to move around. He'd go in front of the net. He'd slide over, go high slot. He would move around everywhere, and that led to him scoring 60 goals that year. And now, you know, he's got the, he knows what to do without the puck. And that's just such a, um innate thing that you really can't teach. You know, you've got to come into that on your own. And he, he's done a fantastic job at that. Um, You know, in terms of his career numbers, right now, I, I just kind of crunch his statistics a little bit. He's got, uh, that's career goals in front of me, 261 goals in 463 career games. I took out his rookie year, and then I, I did a few things mathematically. Right now, if he plays 1,200 games in the show, which is realistic, um, he'll retire with 743 goals, which would put him, as of right now, um, fourth all-time. He'd be ahead of, behind Gretzky, Howe, Brett, and Brett Hall, uh, but ahead of guys like Marcel Dion, Phil Esposito, Steve Eiserman. Um, you know, I think, honestly, if he stays healthy consistently, I know last year he had the major leg injury, but beyond that, he hasn't really had a major injury that kept him out of the lineup. No, I mean, beyond that, he's, he missed three games in his career, um, which were his healthy scratches in his rookie year, playing up that ass clown, Barry Melrose. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I just think you look what he's able to do. And, you know, the team's playing great. He has a real good shot at leading this team in the Stanley Cup this season. And I think Tab is one of, if not the best teams in the Eastern Conference. And, um, you know, he's doing some great things. And I think, um, you know, his statistics might be down a little bit. But who cares? The team's playing well. And, I mean, uh, he's a team kind of guy. And, uh, you know, he's already talked about wanting to stay in Tampa the rest of his career and build something great down there. And why wouldn't you? You know, they've got a great team. The uh, front office staff is amazing. Steve Eisman really knows what he's doing. And uh, John Cooper is one hell of a coach. So, you know, I think the fact that he's on pace to score almost seven, you know, over 700 goals in his career is very, very impressive. And, um, you know, he's going to uh, do some great things. Actually, technically, he'd be a finish ahead of Brett Hall. Brett Hall 741. But, you know, we'll see what happens. That's um, so far down the line. And I don't want to think too far ahead because I love watching him play every night, you know, thinking that, what it's going to look like at the end is stupid. You know, I want to see what he's going to do, um, you know, every game. And, you know, going up tonight against Drew Doughty, a guy who got drafted right ahead of, you know, two of the better players in the game. And, um, you know, both L.A. and Tampa are glad with their picks because those two guys are uh, really, really good hockey players. But uh, anyway, that's all I got to of the power play with CJ on Steven Stamkos turning 25. Stay tuned for episode to the season and beyond. Later, guys.